सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट अपडेट्स ऑन लेटेस्ट वीडियोस ऑन दिस चैनल ओके सो पीपल हैव मिसकंसेप्शंस बट व्हाट इज योर फर्स्ट हैंड अकाउंट इन पीपल्स रिस्पोंसेस एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग द इशू um okay generally uh people are very indifferent towards animals um like i said some of them may not even realize that there is a dog sitting uh you know on on the path if they are walking towards office for example or they are going to the market uh, they are probably so engrossed uh in their conversations or on their phones that they will not even realize or acknowledge that there is a animal who is sitting or uh, you know who is probably so hungry and is wanting to be fed or um or maybe just sort of you know a whistle or a pat so um this is very very predominant uh second thing is um again then the fear factor so um, they would not even want to be you know, be close to an animal uh, third is also the kind of uh, um, kind of a group that would say why are there dogs on the street why should there be any dog in a colony they should just be picked away and you know put into a shelter now that is not the solution because obviously um, there are very few shelters and there are very small shelters you cannot stuff six or seven dogs in one small cage and you know put them in a shelter as it's almost as good as killing them visibly uh, trying to get to know the dog uh, the animal or uh, you know uh, feeding it and sort of taking care of it or just being simply compassionate enough uh, as so that you don't even harm him you may not be an animal lover or you may not like animals but does that really give you a right not you know being a, a cruel towards the animal no so the best thing to do is uh, you know if nothing else show some compassion um so these are the kind of people who would apart from dog lovers of course you have the haters which i've just discussed about and there are some neutral people who it doesn't make a difference to you know ki hai to it's great and if there aren't any it's it's fine now during this virus time i came across some wonderful people wonderful people whom i had no idea uh, existed <laughs> these were mainly the guards uh the chokidars and um some solitary tea sellers who really went out of the way in trying to help me feed these animals we have lost her again but let me announce the people who actually answered Hello. so the people who answered correctly uh of course the answer is tuk tuk and uh, shoma pandit was the first to answer and buryana yankova sharkova congratulations welcome back to the show i we are having some net connectivity issues great so we are back okay. on track so i was uh, as i was mentioning uh, there were these there are these guards um from most of these uh, factories who have been most kind towards animals during this covid time and um, also i think uh, i would mention that a lot of uh, uh, cops from uh, our indian uh, police have uh, been extremely helpful you know uh, none of them ever stopped us from uh getting out to feeding them um so they were very helpful most of them uh, would uh, you know even let us know that there was a dog which is injured this side there sharing addresses and stuff so uh, by and large i found a lot of people who were who came out to be really you know heroes at that more point in time 
in trying to save as many as lives as possible. Uh, third thing was that a lot of people during this time came together. You know, the, uh, the animal welfare network really expanded a lot. And uh, once people got inspired um, after, you know, wanting to do this work, uh, seeing the people, other people do it, the actual animal lovers doing it for so long, when you see them and uh, you see their dedication, and then, uh, of course, uh, you know, our government telling us that, yes, this should be a part of uh, something that needs to be done. So it was uh, a wonderful way of, you know, connecting together to ensuring that um, we could all help out in our own small little ways. So this was something which I felt was a very positive thing that came out of the COVID times, at least for me. <laughs> So what are your suggestions uh, to improve human and animal interaction, relationship and coexistence? Compassion, definitely, Vivek. Uh, teaching the younger generation that, you know, you have to be compassionate towards animals um, is a must, first of all. Um, as a community, you know, even having uh, the the vets coming over trying to explain are uh, giving talks about animal behavior um, trying to explain to people the do's and the don'ts you know um, apart from that of course the feeding of the animals the taking care of them uh, it's very important to get them spayed so that the numbers remain, uh, you know, more manageable. Um, if at all there is some aggressive behavior, that too, after the neutering uh, gets, the, the dog becomes quite mellow. So these are certain things as a responsible citizen or as a responsible caregiver of an animal, it should be incorporated. So you know, coming as suggestions are mainly things like this, taking care of their feeding, their spaying and neutering, the, uh, you know, uh, taking care of their ailments, um, compassion, definitely, trying to adopt the Indie breeds, because uh, the Indie is, of course, the best uh, suited uh, dog for the Indian environment. So, um, People who go out sort of buying a very expensive uh, dog or a foreign breed will find it difficult, you know. So you, you can't have Huskies and uh, St. Bernard's doing too well in the Indian heat. So that's it. These are a few things that we need to be taking care of. I just saw that our friend Rupa is also watching. A warm welcome to Rupa. <laughs> though we are reaching the end of the show. But, uh, she's saying hello to you, Simran. Hello, Rupa. So nice that you could have joined us. We spoke of you in the beginning of the show. <laughs> I had to share with uh, Vivek that I used to, you know, empty out your tiffin every morning. <laughs> just to make sure that we would feed some dogs on the way. Very interesting. Uh, so are there some laws in India that provide some rights to these voiceless uh, animals? Do they have some rights as per law? Unfortunately, no. We have, uh, we have very old laws which don't really hold any power to do towards the animals in today's time. Um, this is one very big challenge that animal lovers face because um, you'll be surprised if I tell you that um, a cruelty uh, fine is only rupees 10 when it comes to being fined somebody. I mean, imagine just 10 rupees. And if the person has done something subsequently, you know, even beyond. Uh, say maybe the second time or the third time, the fine is only 50 rupees. So
so where and why would somebody even want to you know bring out these laws to tell someone that don't be cruel don't hurt the animal because we don't have strict laws there is nothing uh, that uh, would empower the animal lovers to take on a cause you know to have somebody uh, punished for uh, whatever uh, bad thing that they may have done to the animal so but um, keeping uh, our fingers crossed we still hope that there will be soon some changes um, or rather we are requesting for certain changes in the law wherein uh, the animals will be much more protected so um, till then it's just up to common people to sort of you know think right and probably try and do the right thing so there's one more issue which i wanted to discuss with you i have uh -huh. seen many people who have small kids and yes. the kid wants some fancy dog like who's like a toy you remember there used to be a tv ad uh, from uh, vodafone which had a very cute uh, dog pug yes the pug okay and i saw yeah i saw many uh, kids were asking their parents and they were bringing those uh, you know dogs to their kids but after let's say one week or two week they were unable to take care of and then they abandon they either put the yes. pet back on the street or they give it to somebody or they are not able to take care of it how to uh, address this issue because uh, a animal uh, a pet when it comes to your family it becomes a family member it is not a toy very and true. i have seen this uh, issue in uh, i mean a first hand account i am sure you must have also handled such issues what is your Many. suggestion to yeah so what is your suggestion in to solve Un this kind of issue unfortunately unfortunately too many happen and uh, uh, people need to understand that you know you just can't think of picking up a small fluffy toy and you find it very cute small little puppy and you bring it home and then you realize that wow this is a commitment for 12 to 14 years you're supposed to take care of that dog and then suddenly the cuteness all disappears and they don't want to take care of an animal um so suddenly it's useless and that is when they come and abandon a dog but they don't realize that if they throw him out on the street that poor child is not ready to not fit to you know survive on the street because you have given him a home earlier you've brought him home and then you've thrown him out or you just go and dump him at the shelter where he'll surely die you know so unfortunately um people see cute things so like yes the pug dog from the vodafone became very very famous and almost everybody wanted a pug for themselves and then they realized that uh, it's not as easy as it seems so i feel people who are keen to adopt keen to keep a dog should first go to a local shelter close to their homes and try and do some service towards the dog it will give them an insight you know whether they are capable of taking care of an animal for such a long period of time do they have the time to you know work towards their dog uh, take it out take him out for a walk take care of the meals take care of the uh, vaccination schedule if not then it is advisable that they shouldn't keep a dog in the house because it's really unfair to think of bringing a family member and then saying oh we can't take care of him or her so let's just throw them out so this is something that they all need to understand hopefully surely and short yeah maybe we hope so <laughs> we hope so too fingers crossed yeah so before we uh, come to the end of the show would you like to give uh, any special message i mean you have spoke you have addressed all the issues but if you have to summarize the thing and give one special message to our listeners um, so what probably would that be? two or three little things um one please 
adopt if you have to. Don't shop. Uh, let's not uh, increase, uh, you know, uh, this communal thing that happens uh, in puppy mills. You know, that is a very sad case. So um, the breeders especially uh, are doing things which are very, very wrong. So uh, it would make a lot of sense if you would adopt your, please, you know, try and not pick up one from a breeder. Do not buy it, rather, you know, if you can adopt it from somebody who's known to you or maybe a friend or something, it's, or a known person, it's easy, it works easier. Uh, two, please uh, don't be cruel towards animals. It's okay not to like them, not to love them, but you don't have to harm them or hurt them either. So cruelty is something which uh, is a big no-no. And uh, third, it's very, very important that every species on earth is worthwhile. So you need to understand that, you know, we'll have the entire civilization can vanish if we do not take care of the animals and the plants that are here on Mother Earth. Um, we'll get wiped out, you know. Everybody's talking about uh, the bees and the effects that the bees are having, the bees have. And if certain species of the bees disappear, there will be no food. Yeah? So every living being on earth is important. Let's try to make ourselves uh, more of, uh, you know, let's build that compassion in ourselves and our coming generations so that we can safeguard um, everyone that we have here on earth. So... I hope <laughs> we could work towards the common goal of taking care of not only humans, but animals as well. That was a wonderful message, Simran. I thank you for coming to the show. Keep doing what you're doing for the animals and the society. I also wish thank that you, you so much. Keep, keep on working, but I also wish that you retire eh, so that you can fulfill <laughs> your dream. I wish you all the best. Thank you so very much Thanks and all the very best to you too. Thanks. This conversation with Simran would be available on our Facebook page and YouTube channel. Kindly subscribe to our Facebook page and YouTube channel for updates. So friends, that is all for today. Next week, I will be here again with another personality. Till then, take a good care of yourself. God bless you all.